but if you will look at second option it's more complicated and it's going to confuse you even more and as i have discussed earlier that you have to make the process fast so that people can book the ticket easily so we can't afford to lose the time here Yesterday I was booking train tickets on IRCTC app for my brother and he was traveling from Mumbai to Hyderabad and when I was booking those tickets I found like so many UX problem which can be solved easily but I don't know why the problem is still there. For those who don't know IRCTC app is like Indian Railways government app and from there you can book your train tickets it's specially for train tickets but they have included several options like you can also book flights you can also book buses you can also book hotels and like so many more things but it is specifically designed for booking trains if you are using IRCTC app you know that like people use it for two purpose either for booking normal tickets uh, or for booking uh, special tickets which is called Tatkal tickets so suppose if you have missed the date and you have to travel urgently then you go for Tatkal tickets and Tatkal window is like really short within like five to like five to ten minutes all tickets get sold out so it's really important that the booking of tickets should be efficient so that people can book their tickets and like mostly they can book their Tatkal tickets or else like if the process will be confusing it will take so much time like going through the process like entering all the details and then logging in and then finding the train so the date and then going to the checkout process like this process should be seamless and it should be like completed in like less than like two minutes like otherwise if it will take more time like people won't be able to book the car tickets uh, because it will be already sold out and if you know that like IRCT apps have like so many users and like it covers all the user segment like people from age between 16 to like 65 or maybe 70 those kinds of people uses IRCTC app so it's really important that we make it like simple minimalistic and easy so that all the user group can understand like even children can understand and person who is like above 65 or 70 they can also understand otherwise they won't be able to book the tickets so by keeping all these things in our mind let's redesign it and solve those UX problems so we can make the process seamless let's get started here our goal is to make the process seamless and simple and our target audience is everyone from age between 16 to 70 years old and even above that. So I have found it four problems. There is so much distraction on the screen and the booking process looks complicated. The sign in and login process is also complicated and the payment option is ambiguous. Like there are so many options and it's really difficult to find what you can choose. And as I have discussed earlier that you have to make the process fast so that people can book the ticket easily. So we can't afford to lose the time here. So we definitely need to work on the payment option. So these are the four problems. This is the problem one. Problem one is that they are showing so many things here on the sign in page itself. Like I don't know what's the use of this because here they are saying more app of IRCTC. We know that these are the apps but I don't think that this is the suitable position to like place all this thing here because the login page should just show you the user id password forget password option and just like few details that said i don't know what's the use of this so we can remove it and then uh, this is the second ctc which is agent login using otp but this doesn't look like a ctc and this doesn't look like a button because it is so close to the ad i don't have any problem in showing the ad because i know that they must have their own reasons but if they're displaying the ad, there should be padding between CTA and the ad because CTA is the main thing. Now coming to the second problem, as soon as you log in, you see this page and you come to this screen. So here you can see that there are options of like train, flight, booking a bus, booking a hotel, ordering food. And then this is their AI feature which like solve their problem. So ask Disha and then tourism where they will show you the packages tourism packages they have and then it is a retiring room and then irctc on youtube i don't know what this even mean maybe it will have we maybe it will like guide to the youtube page of irctc app so you can see here there are so many options but this is an app which is specially used for booking trains and if i want to book any other things i can too but it should focus mostly on train so like this is also a problem and like if i will see so this is also a problem and if I will say honestly then there are just three main options like booking of train, booking of flight and booking of bus 
and like all the other option doesn't seem much relevant and even if those are relevant option we can show them but we should give priority to the three things because this app is mainly used to book tickets so it's fine if you want to order food or if you want to ask disha or if you want to look at tourism package but we should focus on these three things so this was the problem number second now coming to the third thing if we will go in transaction section you will see like there's an option of my booking transaction failed cancel ticket refund history and trd history but if you want to see your prior bookings you have to go in this thing and then see so for this i think that we can show something similar to how train line has done like we can show all the bookings and then at the top we can give them few options so if they want to see what other transaction has failed they can choose it and if they want to check cancel booking they can click go there and check it but by default we should show them my bookings because if people have booked their ticket we should ideally show it here so this was the third problem now coming to the fourth problem suppose you have looked at tickets and you have selected your train and now you're going to the payment method so when you will come on this page you will see two options the first option is being pay and upi and this thing can look so much simpler but i don't know why they have complicated it because they have written here being pay and upi and which is powered by paytm so this makes me confusing like either should i just use paytm or can i use phone pay or google pay too and then there is a second option which is similar to the first one being pay upi but it shows here powered by razor pay so again i don't know if i can use phone pay paytm or uh, google pay or if i should just use razor pay i don't know what should i do here so again if i will come to this page and if i will select beam and upi i will get these two options and it will make me confused because these two options look similar but if you will look at second option it's more complicated and it's going to confuse you even more just a second yeah so now coming back to the video so this is how the second option looks so in the multiple payment option you have irctc ipay which i guess is their wallet where you can put any money and you can use it so and now coming to the next option which is paytm where you can use paytm wallet beam upi paytm upi credit card debit card and net banking and then the third option is razor pay and again they have given like several options for that and then they have done the same for hdfc air pay and the remaining other but this is what makes me more confusing because i don't know what to do like if i want to choose hdfc like i can choose upi and i can use credit card and i can also use like debit card but i don't know what i should do here and if i will select hdfc will it direct me to the, the online banking or like what i don't know any idea about it and even if i will select ptm like what are the other information will be needed and all these things and all these icons like if you will see here all these icons and there are so many words it really makes someone confusing and it even makes you more confusing and more panic and anxious if you are in the timeline bound and in this case you are because you need to complete this process as soon as possible so you just have two to three minutes to complete the entire process suppose that if a person is coming here in panic because he needs to book that ticket urgently like this will be so much information for him and it's really hard to process and understand and go forward with so this is a really complicated thing for redesigning this app i am using creati instead of figma because it will make my designing process much more easier and simpler and also faster faster because creati has so many features like ui wizard and where you can like find all the components and you can just drag and drop it so it will make the process much more easy and faster for me so let's get started
Now let's review the changes. So these are the changes we made. I hope that you found this video helpful and you did learn few things from it. If you did like it, please like it and subscribe it to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.